Okay, so first up we have Tamir um, from Universal Progress um, from Ulaanbaatar in Mongolia. Um, and we're going to pose questions to uh, each of the six cities and then get a little bit of discussion going. And as I said earlier, any questions that you have as we go through the session, please jot them down and we'll try and take as many as we can at the end. That would be great. So, Tamir, the question for you. Ulaanbaatar is a city that experiences extreme and varied climate conditions from season to season. What impact does extreme climate have on disabled people in your city? Uh, 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 in Mongolia, people reside in two different residential areas, uh, formal built areas and informal settlement area. Uh, over half of the disabled people live in the informal settled areas. Uh, there is uh, and in informally settled areas, we can actually say that there is no accessibility whatsoever. They're not only connected to the centralized heating and water supply systems, they have to as, um, fetch their own water from potable uh, water stations. Uh, Public transportation and in winter, um, because of extreme uh, under, uh, below freezing temperatures, there's lots of um, um, frost in the street, and uh, disabled people are at great risk of falling, uh, injuring themselves, and also because of inaccessible public transport, people with, say, uh, spinal cord injuries are at great risk of not realizing that they're at risk of being uh, frostbitten or in risk of being freezing. So um, these uh, pose a real risk to life of these people. <laughs> Uh, Mm -hmm. And it not only limits the participation of disabled people in public life, but it actually creates risk to real risk to life. For example, because of below freezing temperatures, people have to heat the informal uh, tents um, to keep warm. But then people with limited mobility, like disabled people, uh, they can't escape if, if there is a risk of being poisoned by carbon monoxide or if there is a fire. Uh, so these are the risks, everyday risks people are faced with. Sometimes, I'm going to go to the 
And this is in winter, but in summer we also have problems with flooding now. Last summer we had two uh, massive floods, and uh, because of that, uh, already inaccessible public spaces were became, became even more um, difficult for people to access, especially for disabled people. Thank you. Thank you, Tamia. Fantastic. Thanks very much. Great. Um, if anyone has questions for Tamia, we jot them down. We'll try and take take them at the end. But for, for now, Tamia, thank you for that. That's fantastic. Um, and also, just to add, uh, one of the things that came through our research in Mongolia that we hadn't anticipated was the popularity of the karaoke bar in Ulan, but are very, very popular um, in ensuring access to, to karaoke. Um, Okay, I'd now like to ask Dr. Vasudevan from uh, Varanasi Smart City Limited, um, from Varanasi in India, to join me.